How does it work? Does it hold temp? What vents should I close? We'll answer all these questions and more as we do a review of Big Green Egg brand new pizza wedge unboxing. We got two wedges. It could not be any simpler to install in your Big Green Egg. There are no screws, bolts, nuts, nothing going on here. You've got two tabs. You're going to slide each of the wedges in until they touch in the back. The tabs will keep them in place right on your gasket there. And then you just close the lid. It's that simple, folks. Nothing else you need to do. There's not even a piece of paper in there showing you how to, well, there is a piece of paper showing you how to do it. Just kidding. But you don't need it. It's pretty simple. You just slide them back in there, shut the lid, you're good to go. So then you want to shut your top vent all the way. It's all the way closed. Now you still have two vents. You have the one big hole in the front that looks like a mouth, and you got the one in the bottom. You can see we got a fire going in there real well. 500 degrees at the bottom we had about an inch open we ended up shutting this more because it was kind of getting too hot for what we wanted we're at 550 it, it bounced around about 25 degrees um, with the top open so not as much as we thought we were concerned with such a large opening is this going to skyrocket up to 750 is it going to be affected by large winds and it really didn't go up too much our first test is just some cheap frozen pizza just wanted to give her a whirl we didn't want to ruin anything so we got an Aldi pizza which really isn't that bad to be honest with you but anyways we start with that got a nice color on the bottom it was getting hotter in the back so we had to keep rotating the pizza it is nice to be able to see you can see your za the entire time that's in there so we just pulled it out with our pizza peel rotated it around had a nice fire going it's just a frozen pizza you know you do in the oven normally but it looked good it looked great it looked just like in the oven but it had that you know charcoal wood fired taste to it. it turned out amazing so that was our tester then we moved along to the real deal put a little bit of flour down onto our butcher paper because we didn't have parchment paper brought in a professional pizza pie maker just for this um, this dough we actually bought from Dewey's Pizza so if you're not familiar you can buy local dough so definitely buy yourself some dough from your local pizza shop unless you want to make your own a little garlic squared from lanes going down some pizza sauce tip on the pizza sauce always use less sauce than you think you need because uh, it always takes less Put pepperonis down made it rain with some mozzarella cheese then we came back with more pepperonis going down double pepperoni on this pizza that's how we're living and you can see here real well on the temp so we're in the back you know it's up there 550 540 and then to get closer to the front you're down about 460 450 so it's it's a big temperature jump from the back to the front as you would imagine because the front's open so you're gonna have to watch your pizza and turn it around and slide it a couple times which is fine that's what's nice about this is you can watch your pizza so as we slide it in there we left it on the butcher's paper get it off our peel there it probably took a total of like 12, 12 minutes to make this 12 to 15 we hung out around 550 degrees we kept pulling it out and turning it just turning it a little bit just to try to make sure it cooked evenly because you can see that part that was in the back really was starting to crisp up around the edges and we threw it back in there so total of about 12 minutes we probably turned it like four or five times that may not be necessary once you really dial it in we just weren't sure yet bottom was starting to get done and the top wasn't too far along far away so we go ahead and hold off our butcher paper put it straight down onto the pizza stone let it finish up there really get some nice color pull it out and made another little turn and I mean it really is just it's nice to be able to see everything that's going on the entire time you have your pizza in there you know you're not kind of cooking blind so you're able to kind of look at it once you learn you probably won't play with it as much as we did here but it was, it was a good learning experience to be able to see, see what we're looking like. This thing turned out great, great pepperoni pizza. Cannot complain, amazing flavor, taste. Cut it up so everybody could get a slice. New York pizzeria style, it was just, it's great pepperoni pizza, I cannot complain. So the next one we did was kind of like a meat lover's pizza. Same thing, we'll cruise through it with the sauce and the cheese here. And we did all of these in the same day which is what i would say is the main benefit of the pizza wedge you have the ability to cook multiple pizzas while 
holding tip and watching them go in. So if you're just doing one pizza and you're used to doing it on your stone with it closed, you know, I don't know if this would be much better, but if you're trying to have like a pizza party, that's our meat lovers, this is gonna make things a lot easier. You're gonna be able to pop in four, five, six, seven pizzas all day long.